Hey guys, I'm back with another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a day in my life. And I'm just gonna be showing y'all my, basically my daily routine, what I do, but sometimes so because I don't do this all the time, guys. This is not the reality all the time. So don't get it twisted. This is just what I do sometimes in my life. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. And let me just bring y'all on me during my day okay i know i look like a poop right now like but you know i'm giving you raw realness and i look like this when i come out the shower especially when i wash my hair i don't just put anything to dry my hair i use like a cotton type material to dry my hair but when you have natural hair you try to keep that natural hair flawless you do anything for it even if it looks ugly, <laughs> you just gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh my gosh, guys, that remind me with what I was talking about, about the natural hair, taking care of natural hair. When I was in middle school, I was the biggest follower of all time. When I mean biggest follower, I mean like whatever she, he, anyone wears, I had to wear because I know I'll be you know, a somebody. Yep, I was that type of person. And there was these two girls, yep, that was straining their hair all the time. I'm like, oh, they pop here because their hair is straight. And that's the beauty standard. Let me strain my hair all the time. Remind you, my hair used to be so thick, guys. Like, thick, like, thick to the point that it's crazy. You don't know what to do with it. And, oh my gosh, when I was little, I had so many struggles of, like, people brushing my hair styling my hair because i have so much hair that my scalp gets so sensitive i'll cry like that was just embarrassment to my my parents because i'll just be like Wah! oh my gosh i'll just cry but oh my gosh i was trying to follow these girls so i have this in styler if y'all remember the styler then you know what i'm talking about i used to in styler guys and i was straining all the time you remember that video of that girl straining her hair and her hair came off that was the mood because i was straining it all the time with no heat protection nothing i was just that's what you're yep and i was just straining and straining and straining every time i went to school and when i tell you my mom would come into my room and say why it smells like you're cooking something i'm like what do you mean by that she said it smells like you're cooking chicken i'm like oh no nah. I am damaging my beautiful hair and since then I stopped you know straining my hair just loving the natural waves I have and I'm in love with my hair of course imagine if I didn't strain it it would be beautiful like I mean beautiful but you know I'm grateful that I came back to life it revived and I still got my beautiful hair I know I look crazy right now but you know this is the realness this is how it will look every time I have my hair in this bando type of style and let it dry. But oh my gosh, like guys, don't be a follower. <laughs> That's all I'm saying because you regret it. And now look, you're going to go through what I went through. There's no, this, just don't follow no one. Don't try to be into this world of beauty standards. You look beautiful the way you are, guys. If you're skinny, if you're thick, whatever you are, you are beautiful. Don't try to be, what, getting BBLs because everyone's getting BBLs? No. Because if you yourself like yourself, but you just want to get that BBL just because everyone's doing it, no. No, you got to regret it and that money because BBLs are expensive. So, no, don't try to follow. Be yourself because being yourself it's better to be a copycat. You just go look like everyone else. And that's why I learned from <laughs> being that follower. Mm -mm. Be you. Be you. So I don't know what I'm going to do today. I think I'm either going to the mall or I'm just going to be chilling. Either or is fine because, you know, this is just my life and what I choose to do in my day. But right now I'm going to go look at my planner because that helps a lot. I've been trying to plan on the planner because little do you know it does help like for real i know it makes a difference and it even motivates me to like see like the planner 
and what do I have during my, you know, weeks? And it's just, I don't know, like it makes sense. Like it makes sense. Like you are a boss girl boy if you use a planner because you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. I use the real Akuma one, you know, the one I bought from Daiso. If you haven't seen that video, I have the link of that video in the bio. And I just wrote some stuff that I planned. And it's just so useful and it literally motivates me, guys. Like, just get a planner. I'm telling you, it's going to help you. It really is. Yep, I still win this. But I'm going to be using a leave-in conditioner. But I want to let it dry a little bit, but be a little moist. Because when you put leave-ins or any styling products while your hair is dry, it's not going to work. I'm telling you, it's not going to work. Especially when you have textured hair. No, girl, don't do that. Or boy, don't do that. I'm telling you, I'm letting you know, don't do that. It's going to be a mistake. But yeah, but back to, you know, trying to be a boss. <laughs> Get a notebook too. And I got this one. Look how cute it is. It doesn't come with the stickers. I put the stickers. And I got the stickers from Five Below. And it's just so cute. You barely see it, but it says, note to self. And I love it. It was just type pricey though. Like, probably because of the gold. But come on. It's a notebook why is it so pricey but yes it's so important to just get a notebook to write your notes because like i said we have so many things to do with our life we can't just now remember well me i can't just not remember it from my head no i gotta write it down because i'm gonna forget i'm a forgetful person and yep gotta write them down and i was writing so much youtube ideas because Again, a girl forgets, she cannot remember a good YouTube idea because I'm going to forget it. And it's going to be, oh my gosh, I hate when one time, like I said, I wasn't about this note-taking life and I had a video idea and I forgot about it. I was so mad because it was such a good idea. You see? So take them notes down. And if you got the idea even outside, like you just outside, maybe you working, like you work out and not work out i mean anything i guess and you need to write something down you need to take a note on something bring either a tiny notebook like the flip ones or even a, a notepad like anything counts because when you have something that's important and you don't want to forget it write it down i'm telling you it's gonna help it's gonna help because you don't want yourself to get all crazy because you forget to do certain things just write it down write it down i'm telling you but right now i'm just looking through what i have to do and yes my anniversary is in two days i'm so excited about that upload video i love all that and what my aaron pop figure is releasing yep i bought it some people don't like it and i kind of see why i, I was kind of like should i buy it? should i not but i'm gonna buy it because he's one of my favorites like come on but you know if he's not good then he's not good <laughs> you know but at least i got him part of my anime boy collection or men collection and can't wait to get him i, I can't wait yeah that's so far where i've written down i think i need to go but that's next month though so i gotta write that down for next month i need to go to the doctor so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and I think my hair is pretty dry, so let me put my leave in. Ooh, look at look at my bangs. What what, what is this? Ooh, you see my six head, <laughs> my six inch forehead. Honestly, I think that's the main reason why I got bangs because honestly, my forehead makes me feel insecure. You know, we all have insecurity, and that's that's one of them of mine. <laughs> but this is the leave in that I recently got in. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to use it. And I'm just gonna comb it through. We gotta rake it through this long hair. And oh my gosh, it smells so good. What? My hair is gonna smell so good for like weeks. Like, what? And by the way, I don't wash my hair like, like every day of the week. I noticed that that would, well, for me everyone's different when it comes to their daily hair routine but i wash my hair every once or two times a week i don't wash it every day because then my hair like my scalp if anything 
get super dry and I get dandruff. Ew, yep, <laughs> I get dandruff because even like my face and my skin in general gets super dry. I feel like that will over dry my hair. So I usually just wash my hair once or two times a week and it's fine. I don't feel dirty or anything. I feel like, like normal, like I don't feel itchy. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, that's what I do when it comes to my hair routine. Maybe I should do one. Do y'all want me to do a hair routine? Comment down below. It, that sounds fun, right? And wow, it's just combing through my hair. Like, that's awesome. Like, I just want to put so much, but I don't know if it's good to put so much product, guys, but it's that good. Like, I want to put the whole bottle, but you know, we can't do that. <laughs> we can't do that, girl. So we just gonna little bits by bits. It's going through like butter, guys, like butter. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> let me put some on the tips of my hair because that's where it gets dried the most. So I just put a bunch and break it through too. Some hairs, of course, come off. Yeah, did I just drop it on the floor? Yeah, I think it's good now. Yep, I think it's good. So I'm gonna get something to eat. But of course, I'm gonna fish tail it, get something to eat. I'll be right back. And yeah, I guess I'm gonna eat and talk to y'all. So, yep, I'm heading to the mall and I'm very just laid back. I have a laid back look today because I'm trying to show off too. I'm just going to a mall, like the mall nearby. So I'm trying to show off too. So put together, as you can see, just going to the mall. And yep, I'm gonna see y'all then. Five, four, three, two. I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah. Now it's a week later. I know, I know. I didn't record on different days, but you know what? It is what it is because when I went to the mall, guys, oh my gosh, too much people, first of all, too much annoying people, second of all, and I just didn't feel something in that. I don't know. I I'm hearing something. Um, and the stores, I wasn't feeling it. Like, when you saw those clips of me going to DSW, I was just not feeling it. Like, I was not feeling the shoes. I went to Target, wasn't feeling it. Wasn't feeling any store that day. I know, sometimes you go to stores and you just don't feel it. You don't buy anything. That it is what it is. I mean, I bought some other stuff, like from Bath and Body Works and stuff, but... Just like candles, nothing special, but yeah, it, it's like that. That's realistic. Some days you don't get what you want, and some days you do. That's life. But also, in that same week, it was me and my boyfriend's anniversary. We made five years. That's so cute, I know. 
and we went to this Brazilian steakhouse. I will show you like a clip of it up here. And it was so good, guys. Like, I definitely recommend y'all to go because it was just delicious. Like, super good. They come to you with like a stick, asking what meats you want. Like, it's just good. It's good. Y'all definitely gotta go. I enjoyed my anniversary so much. And I was thinking to record it, but I don't know. I felt like, like, make it personal, Train. Just have that day personal for you and your man. And yeah, that's just how I felt. And I think I enjoyed it way more too because sometimes when you accord your life way too much, it just, it doesn't feel the same way as when it's just with no cameras, no taking pictures, and it's just you and your partner. And it just hits different. So not every time something happens, you should record it. I know if it's your job to record your life, I guess that's a different story, but, but don't put it to like a certain extent that it becomes like kind of annoying. Like you don't even enjoy it anymore. So make it enjoyable and you don't have to record everything, like literally everything. Like you don't have to record when you meet your family. You don't have to record when you go to the doctor. You don't have to do all that. Take it slow. Take it slow. But I hope you enjoyed the day in my life video. And if you did, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to join the fam, press that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you, you, I see you, will not have to miss not one of my videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.